Hello everybody, welcome uh, to this video that I'm going to do here. So I'm basically just re-recording an introduction from a video I made live on stream. So basically I'm going to kind of show you the easiest way. So I've switched over to um, Streamlabs OBS again because of some features that were a little bit better, for, especially with like when I want to show certain things. So with that... I had to re-separate, I wanted to re-separate my audio. So I'm basically going to show you those steps on what I did to separate it. And we will go from there because there is a lot of uh, important stuff on that. So let me flip and show real quick. So one second. All right, so here we are here. So we're at the main screen. So I'm kind of showing you some stuff. I'm going to also be linking down below all of the steps, basically. So all the programs that I downloaded and stuff like that. So the first things first, let me open up Voice Meter. This is one vo this is a Voice Meter banana. You're going to want to download it, which, like I said, link below. You'll be able to get it. And then when you get to it, the first thing, you know, so you install this. And then I would also install the VB Audio Virtual Cable Control Panel, blah, blah, blah. Because you'll need this too, because you're basically sending Spotify and your uh, desktop audio separately. So you basically get them their own inputs and stuff like that. So they act like a separate thing. So you're not having to only capture all your desktop audio. So you can capture Spotify or, or whatever you want to set it to. You can set it to almost anything if you wanted to. And then just separate it. So that way you can go into your stream and uh, not have it go into your VODs and clips and stuff. So if you wanted to use stuff from your stream, it's separated. So from here, what you want to do. So after you download it, you install both those apps. You're going to want to go ahead and reboot your PC. Once you reboot your PC and you bring this back up, like there's literally nothing you really needed to do here. Um... It's all pretty much all set to go. You're just basically this is just adding so you can have separate audio cables. Um, and then you'll go back to voice meter banana and you will set to your speakers. So like, you know, your real tech audio. So like basically what you were using before to put out the audio through your speakers. You're just setting it and you're going to select the WDM speakers real tech audio. And then in hardware input one. You will go ahead, select your microphone, which for this, I'm using the Quadcast S right now. So you will select that on hardware input one. And in hardware input two, you will select the cable output, uh, VB-Audio Virtual Cable, which is basically this, what we just installed right here. So you set that to output two. And then of course your gain and stuff like that goes right here. If you need, wherever you need to suggest it, like because you can use it, turn up down your volume. So once you've got these installed, the next software you want to go ahead and download is called Ear Trumpet. So basically you got this right here. It shows you all your programs. Uh, click on that and bring up the volume mixer or... Mm, that's not what I want to There we go. So, yeah, once you get this installed, you're going to want to basically split everything up. Because once you get down here, once you get the voice meter banana, I keep also always doing that. But scroll down, you get to Spotify. And you can also do it here so I can show you an example. So if I wanted to separate this audio too, you would right click on it. And then you would set it to where you want. So let me show you where Spotify is. So Spotify... Oh, you need to load it. So you need to have the program loaded when you're setting, when you're trying to split your audio. So you can do that. You can play. I'm going to turn down the volume all the way so it doesn't play anything. But just play a little bit of music just to get something going. And then boom. So now we should have it. And there it is. 
So as you see right here, this is set under the voice meter aux input. Uh, so that's where you're going to want to set this one when you want to separate it. So set here, like and like I said, you can do. I can do the same thing for, like for instance, if I want to put listen to YouTube or whatever, same thing. I would just move this. So right now this is going through here, but if I move it up to this one up here, the aux input, then it would be like for it would be exactly now like uh, Spotify. It would play any thing I play if I play YouTube. You know, even you know, always use copyright free, of course. But it would go right here, so it would play anything through the browser and Spotify through here. And also Discord is set up on that as well. So, like, there's a few programs that, that are set up. Uh, you don't need Steam on it, but that is pretty much all you have to do after you get there. Now, of course, Steam Ear Trumpet is a one you get through the uh, Play Store for Windows. So, I'll, I'll do the best I can to link that as well to get you to it. But then after that, then you just got to go to your settings and Streamlabs OBS. You will go into your streaming tab right here. So your audio track, you can leave the, leave the one. Your Twitch VOD, make sure you check it. And then I have mine selected at, at two. Um, you can have it anywhere two to six. You know, depending It depends on how many different tracks you want to use. But for the, just the purpose of separating your music, so if you wanted to... Do that just I, I have it at two made it a little bit easier and then everything else you're pretty much good on those settings there's nothing you need to do now you select you go to recording and then you select your recording format at mp4 then you can you select all these tracks that you're going to use and, you know i don't use six on anything so i have one through five so just make sure you have them selected because then the next step you're going to go uh, well actually you go audio next and then you can kind of mimic these settings right here so your audio device one you will select the input and then two you select your aux input and then you select your microphone for the auxiliary device for mic uh, one then after that uh, out yeah so after that so then you got everything done so yeah so you got in these settings you're all done you can hit done here and then you will go down, and for instance, you can check your Spotify. So you can kind of see, I've got my desktop audio, nothing's playing. You just see the mic here. So all the audio is picking up here. If I wanted to, uh, let me play something in the background just so. So i got to unmute it real quick, but I just quickly just put it up. You see, so I, I kind of turned up the volume just a little bit on Spotify. So that way you see that it's separated. So when you got it here, you got these separated. I have my desktop audio and your Spotify audio. And then, of course, you want to make that source. You are going to... Wait, here, let me, actually, I'll just kind of show you on this one. So on the properties for Spotify, it is selected. So you're selecting on the device as well. So as you can see here, also unchecked uh, two. So you have that here. So basically everything on track one is going to go to your VODs. It's going to be on the stream. So everything is included there. And then everything in two is your VOD. That's the VOD track that is selected. So anything that's checked, your desktop audio, the microphone, you know, like you see here, Spotify not checked. Uh, I have this not checked as well. So I need to actually check that. That can go to the VOD. That's just an intro song. Um... And then everything else you see is going to go into the VOD, the alerts and all that. The only thing unchecked is Spotify. So from here, you're going to select your device. Make sure it's select. So you're going to make sure it's like the aux input. So that will make sure that it's selecting the, what we put in ear trump, trumpet. If you remember here. So, oh, sorry. I keep going too far with it. So, so yeah, you got all these other devices so your aux input right here like i said then you have that's so you know you got spotify here and you got your your firefox so all this should go right through here um and then that's pretty much it like that's all you need to really do to separate it after that because after that once you've got these separated then you pretty you know then you're done you just hit you just exit that out and 
you are good to go. Everything then, you know, you can run a test stream if you need to to double check everything. Um, okay, as you can see, also since I have that, this I have music playing on this, so honey, you can't hear it, but I turned it turned it off temporarily. But yeah, then everything else is going to be good to go. So that is really all you need to do to separate your audio for Streamlabs OBS. It's been pretty easy. I haven't had any issues since then. Sometimes people make it more convoluted than it is. But really, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, that's, you know, just those basic settings. Like, I mean, once you get these all separated here, then you're pretty much good to go. Um... Yeah, just in case, I'll go over one more time. So yeah, your hardware out, you select A1 speakers, microphone on hardware input 2, and then the cable out, put a VB audio virtual cable, you select that on your hardware input 2. And then after that, then you're pretty much, you're done. That's really all you need to do from there. You know, you, you, the only other thing I would probably recommend is going into here, go into your uh, menu, then go down to uh gotta remember what it was oh and then select run on windows startup so this automatically boots up but once you get these settings like you shouldn't have to ever change anything again it you will probably be messing around a little bit with the volume control because i will say i will be upfront and honest like it isn't as loud as it is like if you're just going straight through all this this does Take a little bit of the volume down, so you're going to be adjusting to get the volume control where you want it, so you're getting hearing your audio through your headset or whatever, and everything's working. But other than that, everything actually does work good. Like, I haven't had any issues with it. This has been a good system, and I think everybody will enjoy it. That's pretty much the gist of what this is. Um, you know, feel free. If you got any questions, put them down into the comments down below i will always try to be glad to help if you have any issues if you want to see a follow-up with obs studio there's a really simple way to do it on obs studio for me like i said i'm just not a huge fan of obs studio for the fact that i'll, I'll show you here so you're gonna get double and double so on here like i have like my latest followers cheers you know um, subscriber and stuff i have that all right here so, I, I, I have issues doing that on um, OBS Studio. But if you prefer OBS Studio, you got it working just fine the way you like it. I'll be more than glad to show you. There is a much simpler way. You don't have to use Voice Meter. There's an actual program you can use to get it set up. So, I will definitely do that for y'all if y'all want to do but just you know like i said if you have any questions down below in the comments if you like what you see i'm going to be trying to do a bunch of different variety and content on the youtube channel so i'm going to be trying to show tips and tricks tutorials unboxings i'll you know even do like stuff in damn my life because i do more than just youtube and twitch and stuff like that so i also you know have a full-time job so i'll try to show a little as much as i can i can't go too far into that but i'll show show some stuff on it a little bit of day in the life stuff what i carry with me what kind of tools and stuff i carry with me on a daily basis stuff like that and then and then just other stuff kind of going on from there so it's going to be a lot of different kind of content i'm going to try to at least upload once a week um but yeah i appreciate everybody watching please follow the channel subscribe to the channel you know like subscribe share and all that good stuff if you if it so desires you and i hope you all have a wonderful day stay out there stay healthy and be good bye